Hey there, Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz here. You might know me as the guy who invented calculus. Yeah, sorry about that math homework. But today, I want to talk about something that might actually blow your mind. Why anything exists at all. So here's a question. Why does your phone exist? Well, it was manufactured by a company. And why does that company exist? Because someone started it. But why does anything exist at all instead of just nothing? Look around you, everything you see, your friends, this device, even yourself, doesn't have to exist. We call these things contingent, meaning they depend on other things to exist. You depend on your parents, who depend on their parents, and so on. But here's where it gets interesting. Imagine a stack of books, where each book explains the one before it. Even if the stack went on forever, we'd still need to explain why there's a stack at all, right? This is my argument from contingency. If everything is contingent, depending on something else, then ultimately, there must be something that isn't contingent. Something necessary that exists because it has to. Think of it like this. If you're borrowing money from a friend who borrowed it from their sister, who borrowed it from her roommate, the money had to come from somewhere originally, right? Someone had to actually have money to lend. That necessary something, the original source of all existence, is what people call God. Not necessarily the religious version you might be thinking of, but a necessary being that exists by its own nature. So next time, you're staring at the ceiling, wondering, why am I even here? Well, according to me, it's because something necessary exists that makes everything else possible. Pretty cool, right?